It is 855. We are updating you on breaking news this morning. The FBI is executing warrants at Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh's home, City Hall, and other locations. Let's get live right now to Mike Shu with what we know so far. Mike, good morning. Good morning. Two more agents, one with the FBI, one with the IRS, just walked into the home. Uh, now there are three of them at least already inside. Just before 7 o'clock this morning, FBI agents simultaneously executed search warrants at locations connected to Mayor Pugh here at her home at another home a block away at City Hall, at the Maryland Center for Adult Development, and at the home of one of her aides, an aide who was fired yesterday by acting Mayor Jack Young. Our media partner, the Baltimore Sun, is reporting about 20 agents were seen going into City Hall, and there are a handful of agents here at Pew's home in the Ashburton neighborhood. Some are wearing FBI windbreakers, others are from the IRS. Boxes were moved from her garage into the home. Though there is a police officer posted outside, sources indicate that Pew is not home and neighbors say they haven't seen her here for weeks. It looks like investigators are here for the long haul because uh, recently they came out, they got a case of water and they brought it back in. Uh, and a woman just arrived um, and uh, some neighbors were saying that it is her attorney. Uh, she had to knock on the door and pause there for a moment before she was let in. I'm Mike Shue reporting live from the Ashburton neighborhood in northwest Baltimore for WJZ. All right, Mike, thank you. Joining us now on the phone from City Hall with more on the investigation surrounding Mayor Pugh is WJZ investigator Mike Helgren. Mike, I know people hear FBI, they hear IRS, they hear RAID, and their minds go to one place only. So walk people through the background of this case and tell us what you think the FBI is doing and looking for right now. Well, Nicole, it looks like they removed a number of documents here at City Hall. We just saw uh, some agents leave in a vehicle from the front parking lot in front of City Hall here. The city solicitor said he didn't know about it prior to what happened. He said he got a news alert, and that's how he found out about the raids. He said he'd provide more information as he has it. We also have yet to hear from acting mayor Jack Young on this. So, yes, let's go into the background of this. The mayor has been out on leave since April 1st. It's a pay-to-play scandal, essentially, where she got some $800,000 for her self-published Healthy Holly children's book from entities that did business with the city, including the University of Maryland Medical System, and that caused a big shakeup on the system's board. All of the members are required now to re resign and they can reapply for their jobs. That's because of a new state law uh, that was passed in the wake of this. They're trying to do reforms after this. The mayor got some $500,000 from UMMS because of her book deal. She also got money from Kaiser Permanente. They were doing business with the city and from several other entities. Now, the state prosecutor does not comment on investigation. Um, state prosecutor's office is the office that investigated former mayor Sheila Dixon, the last mayor to have a raid on her home. But this signals federal involvement, as we've seen IRS and FBI agents in yeah. this case coming to various locations, including the Sun is reporting oh, yeah. uh, the yeah, so building that houses I, uh, Mayor Pugh's about, personal uh, lawyer here. Uh, uh, so. We, we know that uh, acting mayor Jack Young yeah, hasn't talked a lot about the seven here. aides he put on leave. One of them One more time. is Gary Brown, who was fired yesterday. And Mike Shue mentioned Gary Brown. Gary Brown entered a plea deal uh, for campaign finance violations that he violated more, or, uh, uh, gave more money to Mayor Pugh's campaign than the law allows. And this all came out uh, early in the mayor's administration. And Gary Brown Jr., so he had a that plea deal with the state prosecutor involvement. There, there was a raid at his home as well today. And we still don't know what happened to a lot of these books that the mayor sold to these various entities, including UMMS. I mean, hundreds of uh, you know books, thousands of books, and she got some $800,000. We have not seen the mayor today. Uh, we haven't seen the mayor in some time, really, since that press conference that she had when she held up uh, her line of baby clothes. And we still don't know exactly what the federal agents w were looking for, but uh, we did see them taking out documents uh, here at City Hall. We saw several agents just leave here, and there are a number of reporters here. We're trying to get information from people as they go in, but this... Uh, appeared as a surprise to a number of city officials here this morning, Nicole. 
This is just part of the puzzle. A lot of pieces we still have to plug in here. What do you think is next throughout the day as this story kind of continues to unfold? Well, these agencies are notoriously tight lipped. They probably aren't going to say exactly what they were doing. Uh, we should watch for any for perhaps court filings or any announcements. Uh, if there uh, are any indictments in this case, the mayor has not been criminally charged. No one has been criminally charged in this scandal. But this was a court ordered raid. So obviously, uh, you know, law enforcement went to a judge and they got the necessary approval to raid all of these homes. So that tells you that there's a federal investigation now underway into Mayor Pugh. And so the next thing would be to watch for any possible criminal indictments. Pelgrin, thank you so much for that update. Of course, WJZ will keep you updated on the story at noon and on our website, WJZ.com.